Hello everyone and you're welcome. In this session, we're just gonna get Unity and download it. So to get Unity, you go to unity.com and we just click on this get started right here. So while the uh, get started gets opened up, you'll click on the individual plan. Unity has various plans, but I'll click on the individual plan and I'll click on the free plan to get started. Now, depending on what option you want, if this is the first time, really, really first time you're getting started with Unity, you can use the uh, get started here or else you can just go here so you can just download the uh, Unity standard installer. Now, you need to have your uh, internet access on so that you can actually uh, get information where you can just sign up with your email and that's all you need. So the first up, you can download it from uh, getting Unity Hub. And with Unity Hub, it allow you to save various versions of Unity and all that stuff. And also remember to use the personal license. You must not have uh, raised funds in excess of $100,000 or else you'll actually uh, need to pay for the uh, license uh, version. So uh, I already have Unity Hub downloaded and installed. So we can go ahead and download Unity Hub. And you can also look at the uh, versions you uh, have in case you want to do that. So if I click on download Unity Hub, I already have that already. So uh, basically that's how you can uh, install Unity. So you download the Unity Hub and then you run the executable for Unity Hub and it should get you up and going. So basically that's the how you can set it up. And you might also notice this isn't like, you know, uh, highlighted. All you have to do is just click here and accept the terms of service. And then you can just click here and download Unity Hub. So uh, once that's going on, it's just gonna show you uh, a little page and show you how you can set up. So this is what you need right here. Once you have this, you'll double click on this and it will download Unity for you. And once Unity Hub is done uh, downloading, you can always run it up and uh, you know run the version of Unity you want to install. Another thing you like to do is also look at the uh, Unity versions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel uh, this Unity Hub because I already have it installed. So if we click on all Unity versions, this should open up another page where we can actually look at the uh, versions for the LTS version. So this is the uh, 2020 version of Unity. Like I said, I'm using Unity 2019.4. So if I click on the 2019.x, so this is the version I'm using, 2019.4.7. Now there are two ways you can actually uh, do that. You can download it through Unity Hub or you can download it through your Windows. If you even have a uh, torrent file, you can actually use a torrent download. You can use either uTorrent or BitTorrent. Now I advise you to use uh, uTorrent in case you're in a region like mine where internet access is very uh, kind of difficult and sometimes you can have technical challenges. You can just download the torrent and then you can use uTorrent and BitTorrent which are actually free. So let's go ahead and show you what uTorrent is. I'm just gonna say uTorrent just like that. So if I click on uTorrent, you can just go to uTorrent.com and you can download the uh, uTorrent. Let's just wait for that to load. And we can have that uh, uTorrent web. You can use uTorrent web, or if you want, you can actually use the uh, classic uTorrent for your desktop. Either way you do that. So once you have uTorrent installed, you can go back to the Unity store and then click on the torrent download. So once you click on that download, it'll be a small file. So uh, I'm just gonna click open with uTorrent by default, just to show you how this is going to uh, look like. So now that I have uh, uTorrent installed and downloaded that torrent, it's gonna show you everything you need. Now I have a Windows system, not a Mac OS X. So first what I'm going to do is to uncheck this right here because I have a, a built-in system. So you can actually choose what components you also want to have installed. I'm not gonna be using any uh, iOS builds, so I'll just disable my iOS and Apple TV support. Also, I'm not going to get support for Linux or Lumen, also Mono WebGL, and basically this is what I need. You're actually doing that to reduce the download size of your program. And once you're ready, you can always click on OK, and it will start downloading that from the torrent. When it's done, you can always open it up and run it. So I already have the, I don't really need it because I have it installed. So that's how you can uh, install the various versions of Unity. So uh, it'll also work with the uh, Unity 2020 version. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure everything will work fine. But just for information, I'm using Unity 2019.4.7. So once again, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.